Today I will be sharing a video of my 2023 book journal flip through. Um, this is very exciting. Starting a new year in reading is so much fun for me. Um, if you haven't had a chance yet, be sure to hop over to my channel and see the flip through of the past three years. It's all in one video. Um, so you can kind of see the evolution of my reading journal over the past three years. Um, and today I'll be showing you what it looks like for this year. So to start, I have my cover page here. Um, for reference, this is last year's cover page where I primarily use stickers for Maggie Holmes, but this time I decided to use pattern papers. Um, I saw something on Pinterest that inspired this. So I just took some pattern papers from Felicity Jane. It was mostly just scraps and I cut them down to little rectangles, glued them onto the page, and then I went in with a pen um, both a black pen and a white pen and added some details to each book to make them unique. I also used a Copic marker to add just some shading, otherwise it looked very flat, so I wanted to add some more detail for that. And then I just used some alpha stickers, obviously they're numbers, not alpha, but um, also from Felicity Jane. And then this sticker is from the Reading with Hebba um, sticker sheet that I don't think is available any longer, but then I just did a border around it, and that's the start to my journal. Like past years, I start the journal with a just a list of all the books I've read in the year. So I'll put the title, the author, and my rating. These are the two books I've read so far this year. Um, and I went with more of a simple like title that I really love. Um, so I just used some pattern paper, I tore it, and then put some alpha stickers. Um, along the tear, which I, I just love. Then page three, or I guess page two, um, this is my I'd rather be reading page, which if you watched the previous video about my book journal, you know this is where I track my reading. So every day that I read, I will color in a square. I haven't updated it yet for this year, um, like so far this year. But I will. I keep a note in my notes app on my phone of the days that I do read. Um, so then I'll go in and fill it in like a couple weeks at a time. I did again use some paper and washi tape on this and puffy stickers. I actually made this page. I started this journal and was going to do a process video, but then I hated it. <laughs> so I basically took some paper from the back of my notebook here and I taped it in and started over, which is totally fine. Um, I just, I really like it a lot more than what I had to start with. I was, I think I was overthinking it for sure. So um, yeah, I'd rather be reading. And then this is my stats page. Now, again, if you saw my previous video, um, my stats page looks a lot different. My stats page has always kind of been the same, but I wanted to change it up this year. So I actually used pattern paper for the background and then again, cut down a piece of paper from the back of my notebook to add these um, blocks. I wanted it to be more than just tallies. I wanted to be able to add color and um, have a different way of visualizing my stats. So I'll still write in the numbers of books and pages for each month. But then for authors, rather than doing tallies, I'm gonna do a bar graph. So I just wrote the number up here and then I'll have male versus female, white versus people of color. And I will color in the number obviously. So you'll kind of see the bars at the end of it. Now down here, I wanna also keep track of how many books I read are adult, young adult and middle grade because I do like to read within all three of those categories but I know I'm going to read a lot more adult than the rest of them. So I was trying to think of a way to visualize this, but ultimately tallies are really the only thing that makes sense because a bar, like the number of adult books wouldn't fit on the page, whereas young adult and middle grade would be very small. So those will be tallied up. On my next page, I made the genre tracker a completely separate page than my stats page. Um, which is very different from the past years, but um, I find it very interesting, the variety of genres that I read, and I wanted it to be bigger, and again, I wanted to use color and I wanted to visualize it. So this will be a bar graph. 
Um, so far I've read two contemporary books, but as I read genres, I'll add them in with a color. Um, and that color will coordinate with this chart. So um, any contemporary books I read will be that light blue and so on. And I'm just using um, acrylograph pens from Archer and Olive for that, um, which I, I will link them down in the description below. Um, so yeah. Then this is my Goodreads goal page. Again, this is very different from past years where I usually just do squares, like in a grid, and color their squares in, but I want to do something a little bit more playful. So I just drew in rectangles. It's not perfect, and I really don't care. I like that it's just a little bit more fun. Um, so there's 69 books, which I thought there were 70, and there wasn't. So then I added a big 70 goal book that I will color in at the end. Um, so yeah, that is my Goodreads goal for the year. And again, I just used some pattern paper and did genre and puffy stickers along the rip there. This page is very similar to last year. Um, I did a printable for Morgan Long. I'm one of her patrons on Patreon um, where she offered this printable, but I actually you took her artwork, put it into Procreate on my iPad, and I did some editing. So I did add a couple books uh, because there was room to, and there were some more details on the book covers that were getting in the way of the words that I wanted to put on, so I erased some of those. Um, so yeah, I just did minor editing to her design, and then I went ahead and I typed in all of the books that are currently on my shelves, and that's why I call this my hashtag shelfie page, because it's, it's a shelfie of what's currently on my shelf. And so um, usually I do pick a reading challenge to complete in the year. Um, last year I did the Rad Reads Challenge, and before that I would kind of compile my own prompts into a challenge. But this year I decided my only challenge is to read what I own because I own so many books and so many books I want to read. So that is the only challenge I'm setting. Obviously I've already done two, I just colored them in. Um, I'm currently reading a third one. So yeah, hopefully by the end of the year, this will be mostly all colored in or entirely colored in, which would be great. Now this page, I thought my shelfie was going to take up two pages, but because I could add in more books to the shelves on my iPad, it didn't have to. So I kind of had this blank page that I need to figure out something to do with. Um, I found this really cool background um, pattern paper from Maggie Holmes and then I used a little vellum pocket from Felicity Jane and right now I have three library cards in there also from Felicity Jane and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, note the books that I'm currently borrowing from others or the books that I currently am loaning others um, and I can also keep track of book recommendations or books I borrow from the library. So um, this is just another cool way to keep track of little things or take notes. So I will have those in this pocket and that might adjust as I start to use um, my journal here and see what I wanna be tracking, but I like that there's kind of space to play with it and have fun. Now this is my Little Free Libraries page. Um, this is a page I included in last year's uh, journal where I just, I took photos of each little free library that I visited and put them in here with the date, the location, and what I um, dropped off or picked up. So again, I'm gonna do that throughout the year, hope, hoping to visit more little free libraries. I do have a goal of visiting one per month. So hopefully there will be at least 12 photographed on this page. And then again, I have some pattern paper that I just thought was so cute. Um, that's from Maggie Holmes and I added the letters along the ripped paper and then I just put in a dotted line because it felt like it needed something more. So that will be very cool when it's all filled in. This is my no shelf control page. This is where I'll keep track of all the books that are added to my shelves throughout the year, whether that's from me purchasing them, um, being gifted them, picking them up at the little free library, etc. So um, it starts as a blank page, but I am hoping to put in some photos of each book cover. We'll see how that goes. Last year I ended up 
photographing all of them at the end of the year and then just um, I put in four by sixes. So we'll see how that goes. I, mean, I am hoping to stay on top of it a little bit more. And then this will be my quotes page, which starts blank. And then I'll, I think I'm gonna put my story graph graphs in here at the end of the year. But um, yeah, that is everything I have planned for now. And I am very excited. I hope this inspires you to set up your 2023 reading journal. Um, maybe try some pages that you haven't tried before. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will hopefully be sharing this again at the end of the year when I have it all filled out. It's unlikely that I will really show it again um, before then, but hopefully I will have some more crafty content coming your way soon. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, and please subscribe to my channel. I am going to definitely be creating more videos soon, so keep an eye out for that. And thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.